Hey guys, this is Fei Wu, and in this video, I'm going to show you the right way to install your titles or your transitions that you downloaded or purchased from the internet for your Final Cut Pro. First, I'm going to take a quick second to show you how some of the videos are demonstrating that, uh, and it's working for some people, but unfortunately it doesn't work for everyone. So here's the wrong way to do it, which is under, uh, if you're on a Mac, under your um, root, uh, for me it's Phase World. And then they ask you to go into movies. After movies, they ask you to go into templates and where you see titles and transitions. Okay, this doesn't work for everyone. And it drove me crazy to realize that this is not really the root or the location for every version of Final Cut Pro. I want to clarify that I didn't really install it the crazy way or anything like that. So, you know, my folder is set up this way. It did not work. Let me show you the right way to do it. And this way, this one is actually going to guarantee that will work because here we go. Go into applications and here you're going to find your Final Cut Pro. If you have a lot of applications, just use your keyword, type in FIN. From here, what you want to do is right click and here show package contents. And this is going to be key because especially if you're not a computer guru, you don't want to go into um, the root folder and trying to navigate everything. This is guaranteed to find content specific to your Final Cut Pro. So where you want to look inside of content is the folder called plugins. Once you click on plugins, the folder you're looking for is called media providers. I know none of this is really trivial. So, um, <laughs> So under media providers, you want to go into a folder called uh, motion effects. Now content repeats itself again. And for some of you, I mean, again, for me, this is the default setup. I wasn't trying to manipulate anything like this, but content here repeats. If you keep going, where you end up with is resources. Um, under resources, uh, what you want to do is templates. And within templates, this is the final destination of what we're talking about, which is titles and transitions. And I want to show this path because depending on how you installed a Final Cut Pro and how you potentially manipulated the initial preference after installation, some of this is a little bit messier and repetitive than perhaps, you know, someone who's been using Final Cut Pro and clean everything up for a long time. So again, the path is um, plugins, media providers, motion effects, a content repeats here again, resources, templates, and you're at your final destination, which for me, it's just titles and transitions. Now, very quick, I want to show you once you purchase uh, a library resource like this, such as the one I have, first, you usually need to unzip. So the file I purchased was called YouTube Essential Library, uh, easy edit. After I unzip that, um, you have all of these files, uh, folders inside, including tutorials, reviews, social branding, which we don't care about. And under the second folder, uh, you see titles and transitions. And literally what you need to do is mimic now these folders up here. This is Final Cut Pro uh, folder. And down here, what you need to do is get these files and simply drag uh, into the folder that you're looking for. So I'm not going to do that because it's already been done. Again, same thing that you repeat for transitions and you find the transitions folder within Final Cut Pro, you drag and drop there. Now, in order to see these uh, edits take place, what you need to do is actually restart Final Cut Pro. If you have Final Cut Pro open uh, in that moment, that means you will not be able to see the options. But now, uh, since I restarted Final Cut Pro, once you come in here, you look for title, which is this icon here. And within title, you can see all the built-in 3D, 360, and there I have it called Easy Edit. Um, so there's that. And then effects is going to be findable here. You can use the search button here, but uh, transitions is what I'm looking for. And there you go. These are the transitions I just installed. So hope this helps. Please share with friends and family. And uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And I will be posting more videos on uh, and specifically designed for creative entrepreneurs and content creators. So good to have you here. Until next time.